Hello viewers, I discuss today the idea of equivalence of operator. If T be an operator on a Hilbert space H and then the following conditions are equivalent to one another. First condition is T stars T is equal to Y and second is Tx dot Ty is equal to X dot Y for all X Y belongs to H and third condition that is norm of Tx is equal to norm of X for all X belongs to H and this are very much useful results uh, in a Hilbert space. We consider this operator and prove this result of equivalence if the viewer who are watching this video first time they are advised to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get all the notification and latest update of my video. Let's watch this video till the end. Now here this one imply result two. How to prove this result? It is given that uh, this result first result that is t star t is equal to identity i and now we have considering our second result we have here tx dot ty and it will be x dot here that t goes to there that is t star ty and t star t is the identity element so it will be i of y and this result goes to x dot y for all x y belonging to h that silver space so here poof our second result now next goes to the third result let's watch now this two that imply three how to prove this it is given it is given that tx dot ty that will be x dot y this result is provided and if we are taking here and this result obviously for all x y at the Hilbert space now if we take y is equal to x then it goes to tx and that tx is t y is tx so tx dot tx that will be x dot x and x dot x is norm of x whole square and therefore we can say that norm of tx whole square that will be norm of x whole square and these goes which imply norm of tx is equal to norm of x this for all x is belonging to the same Hilbert space H so it is another result we prove second imply third next word third imply first now three that imply one how to prove this result it is given similarly that this result that norm of tx is equal to norm of x and for all x belongs to this is our criteria h and now we are taking in this way therefore norm of tx whole square that goes to norm of x whole square and now it is form of the inner product of that goes to this result inner product of tx dot tx and that is goes to the inner product of x dot x it is clear and now which imply that 
t star t x dot x and that goes to x dot x and it is using by the linearity property if we are taking in this manner t star t x x minus x dot x that will be zero so t star t x dot x minus x dot x equals to zero using this linearity property t star t x minus x dot x is equal to zero it is a linearity property because this goes to this dot this minus x dot x that's why we are writing in this manner and now let's look how it is possible to prove this result which imply that t star t minus i dot i x dot x inner product notation is equal to zero we are taking common and in this operator format and if this dot equals to zero only possible element that is t star t minus i is equal to zero if this goes to zero then this element is be zero and that is and it goes to t star t is equal to identity element Finally, we prove that 3 imply 1 and hence we can say this result are equivalent. So, in this way we end our discussion today. Very very interesting and useful result in Hilbert space operator system in Hilbert space. We end our discussion. If you like this video, like it, share it and always subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.